of find the general solution of the given system. So you are given this system of equations. First, you need to rewrite. First, you need to put it into a standard matrix in for in in terms of x vector x prime, which is this one. Okay, and then you are going to find a minus lambda i. Okay, then find the determinant of a minus lambda i. That gives you this. Distribute this out and then simplify it down to here. Set this equal to zero. Then solve for lambda. You will get lambda equals two two one. Okay. So you have a three by three matrix. That means that you are you will have three eigenvalues. Okay. Now let's take a look at the case when you have lambda equals two. Okay. So you have plug this plug lambda equal into this matrix. You have this matrix, then augmented with zero. Okay, if I reduce this down to base matrix, I will get this. This just shows me that this matrix has this system has infinite solution. So in terms of factor k, here's my k1, k2, k3, all the way down the column. Okay, so for k1, okay, if I solve this equation, I have k1 equals k2 plus k3 which is this for k2 is everything k3 is everything okay now from this vector i can break it down into k2 vector k2 and vector k3 okay so if i break it down into k2 as you can see you in fact if you factor out k2 right here you have one for this entry you have one for this entry you have zero okay so that's why you have one one zero k2 now for k3, if I factor out k3, you have 1, 0, 1, okay? So to double check, you can distribute this in and then add them together. So if I distribute this, I have k1, I have k2 plus k3 for the first row. Second row, k2 plus 0, or which is k2. Third row, 0 plus k3, okay? Now from here, as you can see, you have this vector and this, you have this matrix and this matrix. And since they are not a multiple of each other, you have two linearly independent solutions. Okay. Okay. So you have two linearly independent solution for this lambda. Okay. Now you are going to do the same thing for lambda equals one. Plug it into this matrix, and that gives you this matrix. Okay. And then augment it with zero. All right. Reduce the style to base matrix, you will get this one. Okay, again, you will have a vector k, and for the first row, you have k1 equals k3, k2 equals k3, and k3 is just k3. Okay, so if I factor out k3, I have k3 times vector 111, I mean, time matrix 111, then my final solution will be given in this form. Because you have three, even though you have. Okay, let me say this. So for. So here's a combination of uh, distinct, distinct real eigenvalues and repeated eigenvalues. So for lambda equal to, I mean, for x. You your final solution will be written in the form of vector x equals c1 times k e to the lambda t. So you have x1, x2, and x3. Basically, you just add them together, okay? So c1 times k1 e to the lambda t, which is 2t, plus c2 times k2, which is this, e to the lambda t, which is e to the 2t, plus c3 times k3, which is this one, okay? times e to the lambda t and lambda t and lambda is one so you have e to the t okay hope that makes sense that's it if you find the video is helpful feel free to give it a like share and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything i'll see you next time